Hello everyone, welcome to another video here at My Financial Guide. In this video, we're going to share with you seven effective strategies for paying off debt and achieving your financial goals. From budgeting and prioritizing debts to consolidating and cutting expenses, we've got all the tips you need to get out of debt and stay out of debt. So, whether you're looking to pay off credit card debt, student loans, or any other type of debt, you'll find the help you need here. Get ready to learn how to take control of your finances and start living debt-free. Keep in mind that these are general options and they may not apply to everyone. Before making any financial decisions, you may want to contact a professional. Please let us know in the comments what you agree with the most. Let's get started. Number one, create a budget. Here are some ways that a budget can aid in debt reduction. Find areas of overspending areas. A budget can show you where you're overspending, such as on entertainment, dining out, or shopping. This can assist you in reducing these costs and freeing up cash flow for debt repayment. Prioritize your debt repayment. With the help of a budget, you can determine how much you can afford to allocate each month to paying off your debts. This can also make it easier to implement an effective repayment strategy. While attempting to pay off existing debt, it is important to avoid adding new debt. You can avoid this by living and spending within your means. Track your progress with your budget. This will allow you to keep tabs on your progress and make necessary adjustments if needed. A budget is the basis for creating a strategy, staying on track, and achieving your goals when it comes to debt reduction. It helps you take control of your finances. Number two, prioritize your debts. Debt prioritizes shun reference to choosing the order in which you will repay your debts depending on factors including interest rates, balances, and penalties. You can make a strategy to pay off your debts in the most effective way by prioritizing them. We will share a couple methods with you. The avalanche approach and the snowball method are two popular methods for tackling debt. The avalanche method involves prioritizing your debts according to their interest rates, with the debt with the highest rate of interest at the top of the list. Paying off the highest interest rate debt first will save you the most money on interest costs over time. For the snowball method, you will prioritize your debts depending on the balance. You start with the smallest balance at the top of the list. You will make progress and feel inspired to keep paying off your obligations if you pay the debt with the lowest balance off first. Both approaches has their advantages. The avalanche approach saves more money over time, while the snowball approach gives more immediate emotional gratification. It's important to identify your best option and stick with it. Number three, pay more than the minimum. Paying more than the minimum on your credit card or loan has a number of advantages. By making extra payments each month, you can pay off your debt more quickly. This can speed up your debt repayment process and ultimately save you money on interest payments. This can also relieve some stress. By paying more than the minimum, you lighten the burden of your debt, which will make you feel more in control and at ease. Remember that paying more than the minimum may have an impact on your cash flow. As a result, it's crucial to assess your total financial situation and make adjustments. 4. Debt Consolidation A personal loan taken out to pay off several debts at once is known as a debt consolidation loan. The interest rate on the new loan is usually lower than the interest rates on each of the individual debts you are consolidating. The advantage of this option is that it can simplify your financial situation by requiring just one loan payment. And it can also help you save money on interest fees if you can secure a new loan with a low interest rate. It's critical to keep in mind that debt consolidation does not eliminate the need for repayment of existing debt. Additionally, it's crucial to watch out for adding to your debt during this process. 5. Reduce your spending By doing this, you can free up cash flow that you can use towards your debt. There are many strategies to reduce costs, but a few typical ones are as follows. Cutting back on discretionary spending. Cutting back on areas where you are spending money on items you don't need, such as entertainment, subscriptions, dining out, or shopping. By examining fixed costs like rent, mortgage, and auto payments that typically remain the same each month, you might be able to find ways to reduce these costs. For example, locating a cheaper place to live or securing lower monthly bill payments through refinancing. 
cut back on pointless expenses by identifying unnecessary subscriptions and canceling them, such as cable, magazines, and unused gym memberships. Another way to reduce your spending is to shop around to find the best offers. You can compare costs for necessities like food, insurance, and other bills. Implementing a spending freeze can help you cease spending money on anything but necessities. This can help you spot areas where you could be overspending. You can schedule specific days or even weeks where you will not spend money on anything that is not a necessity. Keep in mind that it's important to be aware of your spending and to avoid making drastic cuts that can have a detrimental effect on your quality of life or financial stability. Finding a balance and making wise choices are the keys to maximizing cash flow and advancing toward your financial objectives. Number six, increase your income. Find a way to increase the amount of money you have coming in. There are many advantages to raising your income. Increasing your income will give you more money each month to put toward your payments. This will also help you pay off your debt with less interest. Seven, be patient and persistent. For a number of reasons, it's crucial to remain persistent and patient when paying off debt. Debt reduction takes time. It is not a quick procedure. Even when progress is slow, being patient will help you maintain your motivation and goal-focused attitude. Being persistent and patient also involves avoiding mistakes that are normal but can slow down the process, such as forgetting to make payments, piling up extra debt, or losing sight of your objectives. In order to go forward and pay off your debt, it's critical to maintain consistency with the strategy you've chosen and the methods you're employing. Keep in mind that debt reduction is a journey rather than a final goal, focusing on progress rather than perfection. Being persistent and patient will help you reach your goal of becoming debt-free, even though it could take some time. Well, there you have it. There are many more ways to pay off debt. This is only seven. Seven great ways to pay off debt and achieve your financial goals. Remember, it's important to have a plan, be persistent and patient. It takes time and effort, but by following these strategies, you can take control of your finances and start living debt-free. Whether you're looking to pay off credit card debt, student loans, or any other type of debt, these tips will help you get out of and stay out of debt. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos on budgeting, saving, and all things finance related. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.